much of the Midwest was coated in snow, sleet, and rain during our recent snowstorm. That includes Minnesota and western Wisconsin, and this made for slow going travel conditions between midnight and 10 this morning. The state patrol says there have been 93 crashes, 112 spinouts. Seven of those crashes had injuries. Right now, Mac Brick Brickman is tracking our weather, and Mary McGuire has more on how people are cleaning up. We begin today with Matt. Matt, what can you tell us? Well, we've seen a ton of snow. I've been blown away by some of these numbers, especially northwest of the Twin Cities. 14 inches coming in from our weather watcher up in Oiland, just a little northwest of Brainerd there, but 10 and a half in Little Falls, almost nine inches in Shaska, five in Little Canada, and seven and a half in Farmington. So a ton of snow on the ground. It's blowing around a little bit as well, but it is tapering off. There's a very thin band still hanging on south of the Twin Cities from Castle Rock to the center and then over towards New Ulm. But give you a wider picture. The low pressure center to our south is on its way out, so we'll see that snow diminishing over the metro and over Minnesota on the whole over the next couple of hours. Just a couple of flurries remain right now. Otherwise, cloudy and breezy for the remainder of the day and temperatures stuck in the low 30s. Mary McGuire is down in Richfield after a messy morning commute. Mary, thousands of drivers across Minnesota had to deal with that. How are things looking right now? Yeah, they sure did. You know, it has stopped snowing for the first time really all morning long. Uh, you can see that there is a lot of slop left behind on these streets, though. It's that gray slushy slop uh, that is uh, so uh, difficult for drivers to deal with. A snow emergency was in effect here for most of the morning, which means that cars left on the street were ticketed and or towed. We spotted these two completely covered cars getting ticketed earlier this morning. The heavy snow also made it tough for people to shovel. Over in Elk River, we caught up with one commuter who says that while the winter weather is a hassle, it's not that bad. Is it worth it living in Minnesota? We have to deal with a lot here. <laughs> yes, we do. I actually lived in Missouri for a while, and, um, you know, the winters there uh, quite mild, but uh, um, there's nothing like Minnesota. I love Minnesota. Now, despite the snow and the winter weather, the North Star trains were running on time throughout the morning. That was a vastly different scene than what we saw on highways and freeways. Now, the cost of one of those snow emergency tickets is $42, but that snow emergency uh, just expired at noon today. So if you got a ticket this morning, you probably already know about it. The good news is, though, I can see a little bit of blue sky poking through all of the clouds. So hopefully some better weather is on the way, guys. All right. We like your positivity. Thank you, Mary.